getting Georgiev. Those were key parts for us to try and remain, obviously, competitive. Georgiev, I like that pickup. It's a shrewd play. When Francis gets in, he gives them a chance to win. You see Park Leather, goalie coach as well, has done a really good job with both of these guys. For the most part, I think you're going to see the two goalie systems sort of take it over. It's, uh, it's kind of like a sport within the sport. It's quite different from what, what the skaters do. For me, I just enjoyed it. Maybe from the start, uh, I would like to think so. It's been always, always fun to uh, try to stop the shots. Uh, I went to a lot of <clears throat> skates with older kids too, so it was always a fun challenge for me. Even playing as a kid, I was always the one like being around the net, trying to prevent the other team from scoring. And I really didn't have that drive to go and score goals. So. I think that's that's something what drove me to the net and since I first tried it, I, I stayed in the net because I love that. Tonight, he's as sharp as a tack, Boos. Yeah, it certainly is, but he's had to fight some shots off. I think it's really tough to really get into the position. I feel like most most people who watch the game, they see only see that you either get scored or you either make, make safe. It's really much more complicated. There's so many, you know, little things which decide if you get scored or no and but I think that's that's the thing what only you know goalies and goalie coaches see. That's one thing why we kind of prepare a bit different because I feel like yeah you, you have to be sharp from the start from the get-go and the whole time. You try to be in the moment and kind of forget if you made a great save or if something unlucky happened yeah you just keep going and uh, give your team a chance to win every time. Not think too far ahead or behind what, what happened before that. I think that's a big part of it. It's a crazy math. You're doing basically all game that, you know, there's so many X and Ys that uh, coming together really quick and really fast. And the experience you have, you're kind of seeing the patterns in the game. And we're not really, you know, waiting for the shot and then making a save. It's usually the shots are so fast that you're already making safe when the puck is still on the stick and kind of you're reading the release from the stick. So there could be some moments when, you know, the guy shoots it and the puck just jumps awkwardly from the stick and you get scored. It looks it looks bad, but you basically did the math right. But something has changed. Shot here comes Hartman in with a backhand flip, save, rebound, save by Georgiev, loose puck, save by Georgiev, rebound, save by Georgiev again. Lanciapane in transition, gives it off for Kadri into the slot, save by Francouz on the redirect. But the Cats come up with it, into the slot, walking through a shot, save by Georgiev, oh my goodness. Larson in front, save by Francouz, and my goodness gracious. No stoppages, everybody on the ice has to be tired. What a stop by Georgia. On a great chance to tie it. There's a lot of stereotypes with the position too, you know, like certain things like goalies might be like, you know, can't talk to them on game days or they have routines, that kind of thing. I used to not not talk very much at all during game day, and not look at my phone at all, uh, but kind of uh, got away from it a bit and kind of more relaxed during the day and I just have my routine that I feel like helps me get into a game mindset and it's been working quite well and I don't have to sacrifice a whole day thinking about the game all the time. The one part about this is true that you know some goalies can seem weird to other players because we're usually like super locked in and we don't really like you know run around the locker room and throwing jokes so I think that could be the one thing but if someone calls you weird for you know standing in front of the box and you know getting hard shots in your body I always have a good answer for that because you know we have the best gear and when I see some of the players blocking shots with the gear they have I think they're really weird. <laughs> How is it having like the support system of UC and then, you know, like your own tandem with Frankie? It's been great. Frankie's such an awesome guy and amazing goalie. He's always ready to share um, what what he sees from, from the game or drills we do on the ice and definitely brought a little different vision for my game. From my perspective, it's always better if, if you're working as a team, as a tandem. I know it, it can get rough when, you know, goalies are kind of same age and they're really like battling for the position for the number one spot. But also the league has changed a little bit and you see many teams using both goalies for 
some amount of games definitely helps the team if the goalies are good tandem i'm not saying they have to be best friends and hang out all the time but from my perspective it's always better if you get along and you can support each other and you know kind of cheer for each other it's been a lot of fun working with him and kind of learning learning new new tools to use in the game and talk a little more and discuss what what we see the game like it has been great Just what has it like been like coming to the abs and you know obviously having like the fans embrace you so much and like what does that mean when you like hear them chanting your name? It's really cool and special. It's always fun playing at home. They're you know like cheering almost like a soccer. It, it was something what was happening back home that the, you know the crowd would be like cheering my name and it didn't happen for a long time until here and it's it's it was kind of unique when it happened and. Almost the whole ring was cheering Frankie, Frankie, so definitely one of the highlights. They make their presence felt, uh, they support us a lot, and yeah, they're always there for us and we feel the support.